Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm working on week five of my collage weekly planner by Marguerite Miller. So, this week we have a sewing item, something your state or country is known for, an item representing a childhood memory, something ornate, something that starts with an L, and so that your bonus is something pink. So, let me set this over here, and I went ahead and I uh, collaged my background this week. I was just kind of in the mood to do that this week, so I did. And of course, I found something that wasn't glued down. I always do. <laughs> no matter how hard I go over it, <laughs> find something. So that's going to go on this side. Um, I want that to be... I don't know why I didn't realize how white that was. Just gonna kind of just slightly go over it a little bit. Just so it's not quite so white. And I'm sure we'll put something around it or something. Okay, let me make sure I've got this where it needs to be. So, I will show you what I came up with. For a sewing item, I have used this um, alterations die. It's called Sewing Room. And I've cut this one and this one. I've got a couple cuts of this one. We're going to put this together. So I've got this one, this one, and then I've got the little bobbin. Okay, something your state or country is known for. And I've got Abraham Lincoln. I have a, um, a SVG file called Penny Pig. Have I already shut that? I did. Yes. What? Okay. It is called Penny Pig, number 866, Penny Pig, and that is from Little Scraps of Heaven Designs.com. And it's a dollar right now. It comes with um, the little pig and um, then a penny. And so that's Penny Pig. And then there is also a penny saved. And that comes with a piggy bank, a bear, and then a penny. And you can, I, I just took this out of the penny instead of doing the whole penny. And you can do that with the penny safe, too. And so that's how I've got that. And I've used this a lot when we have done um, different things. Um, I've used this a lot. And I didn't ink around him. I'm failing at my inking. I thought I had a lot of it done before I started. I was looking for something that would fit right in this little spot. I, thought, I think that would work. So I've got that. An item that represented your child, representing a childhood memory. And I thought, I thought, and then a pokey little puppy. And I have a ton of these books. And as you can see, this one is a brand new one. Like a, you know, it's in terror. The newer they get, I think the cheaper they're made and I mean look at that the pages come out over so um, I just buy them like so I can use them to cut up and make different things out of so I have cut this one um, and I might cut out one of these little ones to put over here I'm thinking about that I just was thinking that when I was um, showing you I thought that would look cute Okay, so um, that's my childhood memory. Something ornate. Now that one threw me for a while, and then I remembered that my friend gave me these beautiful dies. I think these are made to make um, these long um, cards, you know, the ones that go in a regular business envelope or whatever you call those, uh, you know, the long envelopes, I think. Yeah, it fits on there, perfect. So, as you can tell, I haven't done that. Um, I thought, that's pretty ornate. That's probably the most ornate little thing I have. So I have cut. I've cut a backer. 
I wasn't going to cut the backer, but then I decided it needed it because it just kind of looked lost, you know, I think. I hadn't done my collaging before when I thought it looked lost. I had just put it on, um, let's see, I don't know. Okay, so it doesn't look so bad on there, but when I tried it out on here, I was like, well, I don't know. So I don't know, but anyway. Um, this has pink in it. That's why I chose that one. That's not my pink, but that's why I chose that one. And then I cut the center piece, which I think that needs inked up too. But what I've used today is an old paper pad that I absolutely love and I have been hoarding. I wish she still made paper. It's K and Company. Is K and Company still around? Amy Butler. And these papers are, they're not something you're going to use every day, but when you want them, they're lovely. And I usually use them in small doses. <laughs> There's a few that I've used whole. Like that one I have used whole. That's my very favorite one. But they are absolutely fabulous for paper piecing. So I, I have one of those. Okay, now what is our next thing? Something that starts with L. Well, I came up with lace. And we're going to use this one here along the edge. It's got blue in it and it's the right blue. So I saw that one right away and I thought, I'm not going to keep looking because why? Okay, now we have something pink and we're going to use this pink thread to wrap around our little bobbin. So we'll get going here. First thing we'll do is we'll ink up this bobbin and we'll wrap our thread around. And I think I will go ahead and ink up my other things here that need inking. I think I had less things inked than I thought I did. Thought I had it all inked. I absolutely love this. Um, this one. I'm not sure if I borrowed this from my friend or if she gave it to me. I gotta find out because if, she, if I borrow it, I need to get a bunch of them cut. <laughs> yeah, this definitely needs ink so that it will show up. It wasn't um, really showing up on my. That's gonna show better now. I probably needed to do it out of a more contrasting. I prepared everything last night um, before I went to bed, so I thought I had things ready and I just um, needed to collage. And I should have been more I should have paid a little bit more attention. <laughs> okay, let's glue this down. Um, and then we'll get that thread done. You know what I just remembered? I forgot to check, set the chicken out for supper. I'm going to send my husband a text here in just a minute, you guys, and ask him to do that. Because it's getting kind of late in the day. And I want supper. <laughs> And it is freezing cold out, and there's lots of snow on my van, and I'm not going to clean it off because it's going to get warm tomorrow. Now, 
And where did the stink of the snow come from anyway? There was nothing in the forecast. I did not get that on there right. Oh, poo, poo, poo. I had a video yesterday, which is not going to be right in front of these. It's going to be a few days ago. Right in front of this one. It's going to be a few days ago, but you might have seen it where I accidentally answered my FaceTime and then I hung up on them, my granddaughters. Because <laughs> I didn't mean to answer it. Oh, and you could hear them go, <gasps> to talk, and then I hung up on them. Well, it was so cute. I call them right, right when I got done. And they were so excited because they were getting a snow day today. And they were so excited because they don't get very many snow days where they live. It doesn't happen very often. They were so, so, so excited. Um, yeah. The oldest one of the girls that goes, my oldest granddaughter in that family is homeschooled. But the two middle ones go to school. The baby's too young to go to school. Um, she's having a really rough time this year. She gets made fun of a lot. She's autistic and gets made fun of a lot. So she's having a really rough time. They're going to pull them all home homeschool next from now on after this year but they're expecting a baby and so they're waiting until after this year but anyway she's having a really rough time kids are really making fun of her and I was telling my daughter about all I've been seeing about all the Stanley Cup stuff and the team or the um, drunk elephant stuff and how you know how if you don't have that and you don't have the um, certain shoes and a certain over the shoulder bag and all that how kids her age are getting made fun of and stuff. And I said, and from what I can tell, you need a Stanley for every color or outfit. She's like, oh my goodness. And, and my little granddaughter, she could care less about that kind of stuff. She wants dinosaurs. <laughs> I mean, she wants to talk about dinosaurs and animals and stuff like that. And they just make merciful, merciless fun of her. I mean, they just... They pick on her so bad. I said, if someone came up to her, one of those little girls came up to her and asked her if she had drunk elephant. If she got any drunk elephant for, for Christmas, she'd be like, that's not very nice to, to do that to elephants. Why would you do that? <laughs> so, because she wouldn't understand it. She's such a sweet child, but she's different, and different gets you made fun of. I don't want it to be perfect. I'm going to have it like crisscrossing here and there. Some right there. Oh, that was kind of stained. I'm gonna get that covered up because I don't like that stain there. Okay, I got these at the thrift store, a whole bag of them. Okay, it's funny, the back looks prettier than the front. Oh well, it's the back though because that's where I taped it. And I'm gonna tape it here again. And I put my tape up.
But anyway, they were just thrilled. I thought, next year, you won't have to worry about snow days. I've got thread in that. Okay. Because they'll all be snow days for you. All of the snow days. <laughs> You'll be home. Very excited. Okay, so we got that done. Now this one, I wanted my little thing to have like a dress on. So we're going to cut off the top here. And then we'll cut off down here. Cut the leg off. Huh. That's weird. Okay. And I guess I need to ink those two little spots. Okay. And we'll glue these on here. Do I want to do anything else to it? This where it belongs. Do I want to? I guess not. I put that in the middle and it's not even going to show because I'm going to cover it up. It will show a little bit here, but. Hmm. Alright. Using that glue so that I got just a second to try to get this on here perfectly. If I used the art glitter glue, I wouldn't have. There we go. Now, maybe I should do some pin stitching around there. This will add a lot to it. I could have put it through my sewing machine, but it's got a forest green thread in it. And it's taken me a while to get it all changed out, so this will work. So I hope y'all are doing good today. My husband is still not feeling very good. This is just the next day from when I told you, probably several days ago on, on the way my videos are being posted. Because I'm working, I'm trying to get my videos really, get a lot of them done. Um, because I need to get way ahead for, um, for when my new little grandson gets here. Um, so I'm about a week ahead now. It's Monday and um, this is for next Sunday. But anyway, he's, he's still just not, he's hurting so bad, but I really think a lot of it is the cold weather because it's just so cold here. 
for us. I know. Those of you in the northwest and stuff are facing a lot colder, but for us, this is cold. This is the coolest it's been since he was in that wreck and broke all those bones. So I think, I really think that's what's going on. Why he's hurting so bad. Okay, so now I think we're about ready to just kind of put this all together. I'm gonna put Mr. Lincoln right there and pokey little puppy right there and that right there yep put him right there okay let's get him down maybe I'm going to turn him that way but I don't like I like him in but I don't like him on that, at that side of the paper I should have thought of that that I'd probably rather have him looking in, but he's going to look out on this one. And I had had my um, Pokey Little Puppy books out because I just needed to make me a journal and I thought about using them but then I decided not to. So I knew exactly where they were. They were at the front of my little golden books so that made it easy to go grab that. and get that right away. So I was like, yay! Okay, I will take this off, I hope. Let's uh, get it burnished down real good. Oh, there's two pins in it. Okay. Let's cut this right there. And clean it down. I gotta figure out which side I think is the it's the side, definitely. And I did get it right. Yes, I did. All right. That's always important. <laughs> um, where's my little finger? There it is. Because this is very thin lace. It's not a high quality one for sure. Oops. Oh, 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 oh. Too far from the edge, I'm afraid. Oh well, it's not moving. Hopefully, yeah.
I think I got too far away from the edge with that glue on that one. Yep, that's all crooked. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's see if I can get it straighter. It's all wonky, but. Oh well. Scissors. Oh, get those off my hand. There we go. Now over here. Let's cut out. Um, I'll probably put the little puppy there, so I think we'll cut out. No, we'll cut out this one. Not with those scissors, so Gina. <laughs> I have to keep those up or I will grab them. like I'm cutting at a snail's pace. I'm sorry guys. Get up, get up here and get around this little tail. I watch some people do this cutting and it looks like they just whip right around it. I don't. I wish I did, but I don't. good there. That's good. Okay, now I have some scraps of paper here. This one. Oh, looky. Looky, looky. Well, that's just perfect. Let's get this one. This is the quickest way to make it look like I tore it. Getting very, um, you know, like the sides looking about the same, but that's okay because really it's not about this side. The left side is really just about getting my prompts over there so that someday, if we're looking at the journal, 
we know what we're looking for on this side. My grandkids like to look my, well, so far really mostly my oldest granddaughter. The other ones are kind of young, but she likes to look and figure out. I think instead of putting it in the middle, I will put it right out here this time. Instead of in the middle, I'm always putting it in the middle. I completely covered up the bobbin on that side. I got a bobbin over here. I found a piece of paper in my um, collage stash that had bobbin on it. So I added it. And I knew that um, they'd probably get covered up, but it was worth a try. I figured on this side it might not. I mean, chances are it's not going to. Especially putting it down there. If I had put it in the middle, it probably would. But there we go. Do I want to try to put a little bit of lace over here? things on. I haven't been wearing them the last couple days and it's obvious. Okay. Let's go. So, my sewing item is my thread and my um, dress form. Something your state or country is known for, Lincoln. An item representing your childhood is Pokey Little Puppy. That was my very, very, very favorite book when I was a little girl. I love Pokey Little Puppy. I couldn't tell you how many times my mom or anybody I could get to read me that book read it and I looked at it over and over and over and over. <laughs> it was my very very favorite book. Um, Something Ornate is my die cut here. Something that starts with an L is my lace. I got that lace very crooked. I'm just noticing it. It's probably too late to try to pick it up. get it. It is so crooked. I know I'm tearing that up, but if I glue it back down, it'll be okay. Okay. And there, that's better. Okay. Um, and bonus something pink is my pink thread. I have a lot of other pink, but the pink that I planned for something pink was my pink thread. This pink wasn't planned. And the pink that is on this is totally covered up now. So anyway, I will hold this up closer for you so that you can see. And I really enjoy doing my collage on my background again. I don't know if you saw my where I did 
did a peek into my past journals, but this is what I used to do all the time when I first started, because when I first started, I just did altered books, and my very first one, I think it was my very first one, no, one of them was a cookbook, a couple of them were, so I definitely had to do that, um, one of them was a Dollar Tree book, um, so they were just altered books that I had to do something. So I just, uh, I really wanted to learn and teach myself about collaging like this. So I just started collaging over all of them and I learned a lot about collaging that way. It really taught me a lot about collaging. Not that I'm great at it or anything, but I learned about how I like to do it. So that helped. But anyway, thank you for joining me. You have a blessed day and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.